We're all here today to celebrate the relationship of Jenny and Roger and to be witnesses and supporters of the commitment that they share with one another. Together, we all are the most important people in their lives and they brought us here to publicly recognize that we've all played a special part in the love that they share today. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. I actually think I found my dress. <laughs> that word marriage used to intimidate me a little bit, um, used to give me a little anxiety. So, uh, so what I did was I, I asked some friends, you know, what, what does that word mean? I mean, it means something different to everybody, you know? So um, friends said to me things like, uh, well, marriage is an institution. First of all, what the f does that mean? <laughs> Second of all, crazy people live in institutions, so it did make a lot of sense for my application. Because Jenny is certifiably crazy, and I don't mean that facetiously, she actually carries paperwork around with her in case she gets in trouble that she is crazy. Marriage is telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere, and that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. Marriage is knowing that while you each realize the other is not perfect, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that together you are perfect for each other. But that didn't really satisfy my, my thirst for the knowledge of what is marriage and what does it mean. So um, <laughs> I called my dad up because, you know, my dad, he always gives sound advice very close with my dad, he means a lot to me. He said to me, well, Raji, the reason you want to get married is because you want to make an honest woman out of Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly my father has no idea who I'm marrying. <laughs> they say that falling in love is a miracle, and that may be. However, remaining in love after decades of marriage, that's a true miracle. There's really only one reason you need to get married, and it's true, emphatic, pure love. And um, I'm hopelessly in love with you. Marriage, the real meaning of it, it's two imperfect people that refuse to give up on each other, and that's a perfect marriage. I am honored to call you my wife. You are my best friend, you are my soulmate. You make me wake up every day, and not only, not only want to be a better man and a better father, but you make me want to be a better human to the world. Good to go, you look sharp yourself, sir. The one thing that they have shown us and that we all have to remember is that your spouse is not your enemy. Could you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Your spouse is not your enemy. It's not about being right or wrong. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's about always having your spouse's back no matter what, especially when in front of people.
Roger, please take Jenny's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. And for all the days to come. Please wear it as a sign of what we have promised this day. Please wear it as a sign of what we have promised this day. And know that my love is present. And know that my love is present. Even when I'm not. Even when I'm not. Put it on her finger. Jenny, please take Roger's hand and repeat these words. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow and all the days to come. Bear it as a sign as what we promised on this day. I know that my love is present even when I'm not. Jennifer Lynn Farley, do you take this man, Roger William Matthews, to be your husband? I do. Do you intend to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Roger William Matthews, do you take this woman, Jenny Lynn Farley, to be your wife? I do. Do you take her to live together in a sacred bond of marriage? I do. Do you intend to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. By the power invested me in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you man and wife. Roger, you may kiss your bride. It is my great honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Roger Matthews.